Hi, and thanks for joining me today. I'm Jennifer Morgan. I'm the Hunter Education Program Coordinator with the New Mexico Department of Game and Fish. And during this segment today, I'm going to be demonstrating to you how to safely handle a firearm in the different carries for the field. If you've had Hunter Education before, go ahead and grab your manual. You can follow me on page 46. If you haven't had Hunter Education, that's okay. You can actually download a free manual off of the department's website on the link provided to you below. So before I get started, I'm going to cover the four basic rules of firearm safety. Rule number one is always keep your finger off the trigger until you're ready to shoot. Rule number two, and that's the one we're going to focus on a lot today, is to make sure you properly maintain muzzle control at all times. Rule number three is always treat every firearm as if it were loaded. And rule number four is to know your target, what lies beyond it, and also what's in front of it. If you guys would like to demonstrate and practice these after we get done, I highly recommend that if you use a firearm, would like to use a firearm, to make sure you grab an adult and have them help you with that. Or you don't have to use a firearm to practice these carries. You can use a stick, you can use a broom handle, anything that's straight and long, and you can demonstrate and practice these carries with those as well. So that's just an alternative for you. So before you get your firearm out to use for anything, you're always going to make sure that when you get it out of your place of safe storage, whether it's a gun cabinet, a, a safe, or maybe in a locked gun case, that you maintain that muzzle control at all times, and you're going to double check that your firearm is unloaded. So I did all that before I got this out for this segment, but I'll go ahead and show you again, is that I'm going to make sure that this firearm, the action is open. I'm going to visually and phys physically check to make sure that chamber is clear. And I've also removed the box magazine from this firearm as well. So we've determined that this firearm is completely unloaded, but even though it's unloaded, I'm going to main make sure that I'm going to maintain all of those four firearm safety rules. So the very first carry that I'm going to demonstrate to you right now is the two-hander ready carry. This carry will give you the best and safest stability and most control. And of course, I can use this carry if I am walking in a single file line or side by side because my muzzle is going to be pointed in a safe direction at all times. So carry number two is the cradle carry. And before I get into any of these carries, I'm going to look to make sure that my zone is clear before committing this muzzle to that direction. So there's nobody over to my right, there's nobody over to my left, but I'm right-handed, so I'm going to keep my dominant hand around the grip, I'm going to let go of the st forestock there and just slowly and gently release it to my bend of my arm, and then my free hand here is going to go right on top of my wrist. So this is the cradle carry. You can do it both ways as well. So I'm going to let go left-handed now. I'm going to look. It's safe. I release and go into this. And you can adjust your carries depending upon your terrain, uh, your situation while you're walking in the field. So just be mindful of that because you're going to have to maintain that muzzle control at all times. The next one is going to be the shoulder carry. Now, because I'm going to be pointing this muzzle behind me, the important thing I need to do is look behind to make sure that's still safe for me to point that muzzle. So I'm going to turn, make sure nobody's in my safe zone. My action's going to be facing out, my dominant hand underneath the butt of the stock. My non-dominant hand is resting and pushing that firearm against my body so I have good control. If I am in the front of the line, I'm not going to be using this carry only in the back of the line because of the position of my muzzle. Okay, so I'm going to go back to a two hand ready. This is a good neutral position to go to each carry from. The next one is going to be the trail carry. So I know this is my safe zone. There's still, it's still safe. There's still nobody in that zone. I'm going to release my dominant hand, put it in front of the trigger guard. And I'm going to find that nice balance with this firearm, okay? And it's going to vary depending upon if you have a scope, maybe you have a shotgun. Each firearm is going to have a different balance point, okay? 
and you want to want a nice 45 degree angle. I don't want my muzzle pointing down too much like that to get debris in the, in the barrel. And of course, I don't want that muzzle coming up this way and being pointing at my face. So nice balanced. I would not use this carry if there's somebody in front of me, only if I'm in front of the line. Okay, so maintain that muzzle control at all time. I'm gonna go back to that two hand ready. The next one is gonna be the elbow carry. So stay with me on this one. I'm gonna release my dominant hand and put it in front of that trigger guard. And I'm putting it in front because I don't want anything snagging on that trigger. Okay, my free hand over here, it's gonna go on top of my arm. And you can either leave this hand underneath if you'd like, if that gives you safe and good control. If not, then I'm gonna put it on top of the scope like this. And you'll feel it nice and snug behind your arm, okay? So again, I would not use this carry if there is somebody in front of me. I need to be in front of the line, or if we're walking side by side, then I can point my muzzle directly in front of me because there won't be anybody walking in front of me. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to the two hand ready. The last one is going to be the sling carry. Now the reason why we demonstrate all these types of carries is that your arms are gonna get tired when you're hunting. You don't wanna carry a firearm in a two hand ready the whole time. Your arms are just gonna get tired. So mix it up, but remember to always maintain that muzzle control and look for that safe direction before committing to that carry. So with the sling, you're gonna to need to be very careful and watch for any wear in your strap, anything that's unraveling, any piece that's cracked, or make sure that these swivels are connected because once you go to put this on and this breaks or fails on you, your firearm is gonna be in a bad situation. So make sure you do a proper equipment check. Before I get into this carry, I'm gonna make sure because it's gonna be like the shoulder carry, I'm gonna look behind me, look around me, don't just throw this over like a backpack, use some safe control. I'm gonna take my sling, put it over my shoulder. Okay, it's nice and snug. You're also gonna make sure you want it properly fitting. You don't want too much slack in your sling because you want this muzzle over your head, okay? Always make sure you have at least one hand while using the sling carry as well. This is the most popular because it leaves your hands free, especially if you're climbing hilly or rock, rocky terrain, it gives you that free hand for balance or anything else that you might need. So I'm gonna get out of this carry. Again, I'm gonna make sure it's all safe around me. Get control, okay. Now at no point my finger has been on the trigger, so you're gonna need to be mindful of that as well. And I'm also maintaining that muzzle control. So again, I hope you've enjoyed this segment with me today. Get your friends and family members, get some practice in before you go on your hunt this year. And if you'd like to follow us along with these additional segments, um, please be sure to tune in. Next one we've got on the deck is shot placement. Thanks and see you next time.